Let me give you a quick lesson on emotional engagement and attachment. And so there's a couple of different levels here. There's indifference, pity, sympathy, empathy, and compassion. And I want to bring you through the differences between those. So let's start at the bottom there with indifference. It's not a great space. It's where you don't even, uh, you don't even acknowledge that someone is having an emotional response. This is a famous sculpture from 2015's Burning Man from an Ukrainian artist called Milov. Look at that. That's what indifference is. Those outer wire sculptures turned back to back. None of us want to be that in terms of our relationship with any brand or business. So let's come up a level. The next level is pity. And pity is where you simply acknowledge someone's suffering. Let's say you're walking down the street, you walk past a homeless person, and you think, oh, it's sad that they're homeless. But that's it. You just pity them. You don't put uh, coins in their cup. You don't take their scarf off and make them warm. You just walk on. That is what pity is. And again, from a brand and business relationship point of view, pity is not a good place to be in. So let's start at least at level three there with sympathy. Sympathy is when you care that somebody is suffering. So let's say you walk into a graveyard and you see a widow who's crying and you know them, they're a friend of yours. Of course, you now can feel sympathetic to them. You care that they're suffering because you, you feel an attachment to them. Now, if you don't know who the person is, by the way, then you just pity them. But if you, if you have an attachment, you care. And we need to develop those attachments with our customers. But that's not even good enough, because I would argue that level four there is empathy is where we really need to start going, going for it, where we not only feel and care that they're suffering, we feel they're suffering with them. And the pandemic actually was a great leveler. Everybody was in it together, celebrity or regular person, no matter where you are in the world, we all shared this experience. And sometimes shared experiences are fantastic ways of being empathetic to each other. So make sure we're showing empathy with our customers. But lastly, that compassionate one, that's what we're reaching for. We're reaching for compassion, where not only do we care that you're suffering, not only that we feel you're suffering with you, but we actually do something about it. Compassion is a verb, it's an action. So we actually relieve your suffering. These are my, my children who during the pandemic saved some of their pocket money and they bought jellies and sweets and chocolate and fruit and they made little what they called superhero snack boxes for the doctors and nurses in the local hospital to show that they cared. So you need to ask yourself the question, what are we doing in business to be able to show our customers that we care? So be compassionate. Let me give you an example from South Africa. This is a pick and pay, a grocery store, showing compassion to their customers at the end of a year by buying them their shopping for free. I want you to watch in the whites of the eyes and how the consumers react to a brand being compassionate. Have a look. I'm from Pick and Pay, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for being shoppers at Pick and Pay. Because you're a loyal shopper, I know that for a fact firsthand. You are receiving your entire shop for free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? Yes, I am. Pity? Really? Yes. Okay. We are paying for this whole shop. Happy. This whole shop. Everything today is free of charge. With compliments, your entire shop is for free. So I'm going to give it to the lady for free. That's it. Okay, well huh? <laughs> So ask yourself the question, when was the last time we made one of our customers cry? Like in a good way, not in a bad way. In a bad way is easy. When was the last time they bear hugged us, they smiled, they applauded, they laughed? That's the game. The game is to engage, to get to that level of compassion where people really have a feeling and they engage with our brand.